Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's One Piece Treasure Cruise video we are going to do some pulls in the new Kizuna Sugo Fest. Not specifically for the new Toby Ropo legend to be honest, they are not that amazing. But I want to get some boosters for the upcoming Kizuna because it is a Pirate Alliance a Super Boss Kizuna. So I would love to gain more tickets throughout it. So either the Toby Ropo legend, which is unlikely, or Hawkins would be awesome. Of course, all new units welcomed. But the first multi doesn't look so good so far. No animations and no legend posters. Maybe we can get some new Kizuna Rare recruits, that would be cool. Very weird by the way that all of a sudden we are back to Wayno for a new legend. I know it is a Kizuna exclusive, but still kind of weird, especially based on what we have seen so far for the worldwide anniversary. I was expecting perhaps Aokiji or more members of Blackbeard's crew. As we conclude the first multi with nothing new, the final carrot is a Kizuna Rare recruit. Pretty decent, but I do have her already, so a dupe for me. Nothing in the second multi, it seems like, as well. I think the upcoming Kizuna might be extremely annoying to deal with. Not just the super boss, but because we have two new anniversary legends and Burgess and now the Stobby Robo legend we might see annoying mechanics and the problem is that both the Toby Robo legend and the new Hawkins have ways to deal with special limit and if that's present for multiple turns it can be extremely annoying to play around and deal with in the quests hopefully not though I haven't yet checked out the mechanics for the upcoming Kizuna vs Drake but we conclude another multi, almost, with nothing new. Hopefully the final poster can be clutch. It is rare recruit strength queen. It definitely isn't clutch. I have him rainbowed already. Perospero says new, but I do have the unit already. I just think I haven't pulled this specific version of it. And multi 3. No point waiting for the animations, to be honest. We do get a Luffy cut in this time. We do get a legend. Okay. But this, of course, will be my final multi, no point going over the recommended character step. And even that in Kizuna Sugo Fests in general has become considerably worse in the last year or so. Because we have more recommended units than we used to. But let's see if we can get a new legend here. No, we can't. It is Halloween Boa Hancock. I already have her multiple times, so nothing new there. We wait for poster 11 now, except if Hawkins wants to make an appearance in these final rare recruit posters. No, but we do get Judge, actually twice, that is Kizuna rare recruit Judge. No Hawkins. The final poster is gold, and it will be Kuro. Okay. A dupe for me, but Kuro is a decent Kizuna rare recruit. He also has the special limit reduction, limit break ability, by the way. So he might be a bit useful in the upcoming Kizuna. You never know. We are done with the pools though, they didn't really go well, we got nothing new, but it happens. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, subscribe for more OPTC content, and as always, thank you so much for watching, take care, and I'll see you in the next one.